Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix if the finals game is not loading on your Windows computer or if it is stuck on loading or if the game is stuck on the splash screen, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to close the game and then end the finals process in task manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager to open task manager. Now over here, end all the game related process over here. So here you can see under easy anti cheat if you have the finals or discovery rediscovery uh, process over here. So close all the process related to the game. So make a right click and then click on end task. So also check if there is any other services running related to the game. So once you close it, now you launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to try these in launch options. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and in the launch option type in dash DX11. This has worked for many players so it might work for you. So type in dash DX11, close this and launch the game. If that does not work, you can try D dash D3 D11. So make a right click properties over here. Type in dash D3 D11 and then launch the game. If that does not work, you can try dash force dash D3 D11. So now try to launch the game. If that does not work, you can try this. You can try to launch the game in window mode with DX11 settings. So type in dash window space dash d3 d11 now try to launch the game if that does not work the last one is to type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check now if nothing is working in that case make a right click on the game and then remove this from the launch option and then follow the next step now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall easy anti-cheat now for this Make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now over here you can see uninstall easy anti-cheat over here. So make a double click and then click on yes to allow. And once uninstalled, now launch the game. Over here also you can see the option which says install easy anti-cheat. You can make a double click, try to install the easy anti-cheat from here or you can simply launch the game. So after you uninstall it, uh, you can launch the game and when you launch the game, during the launch, it will try to install the easy anti-cheat. Click on yes to allow and it will install the easy anti-cheat. Now once the installation is complete, it will launch the game. Just wait for a few seconds or maybe a minute and it should launch the game. So still you're facing the problem in that case you can unlink Steam from Embark Studio and then launch the game and then relink the game, relink the Embark Studio with the Steam. So here you can see the game is launching after I have uninstalled the easy anti-cheat and then launch the game so it's launching fine yeah it's working so let me close this now as i told you you have to unlink steam from Epbox studios and then launch the game and then link it so for this you can go to this id dot embark dot game so you can open this in browser it will take you to embark studios if it is asking you to log in, log in. If it's already logged in, you can go to connected platforms. In my case, I, I'm already logged in. Now over here, you can see unlink option. So click on unlink. And then you are about to unlink the only platform connected to Embark. If you, if you proceed, you will permanently delete your Embark ID, any obtained items and all game progression. So you can read this. This action cannot be undone. Type unlink to confirm. So you have to type in unlink over here. 
and permanently delete your bug ID along with the game progress. So if you agree, you can click on confirm. And once it is unlinked over here, it will tell you to even you can link it from here. You can log in and link it, but you can do it after launching the game. So launch the game. So after you unlink it, launch the game and then you can relink when you launch the game. And this has worked for many players if the game is crashing on uh, character creation screen. But uh, as it told you that it, you will lose all the game progress and all that. So, and once you launch the game, uh, you can relink the account once again. Have you played the finals before? I'll select no. Create account. Create a new Embark ID. And here you can see Embark name. Click on continue. And this will link the Embark ID with Steam ID. And once done, you can launch the game. But the game will start from scratch. So you can try this. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Let me close the game. Now, still you are facing the problem. The next step is to disable anything like Razer Synapse or whatever control your devices like RGB color. So if you have any uh, software or services running like this related to Razer, you can, uh, you can disable it or you can just close it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. Disconnect additional controller connected to the computer. Also unplug these devices, all the external de de devices or USB adapter, which you're not using, disconnect these devices. Also disable Steam overlay. For this, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off this option, which is enable the Steam overlay while in game, and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in G4 experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking applications. So if you have MSI Afterburner or Revert Tuner or any other overclocking application running, do not overclock and then close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. Also, if you have any third party software or services running in Task Manager, close it. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running. The rest close everything, including OBS. If you have any browser open, especially the Chrome browser. So close all the third party application and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. In my case, this option is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So make sure that you put a check on hide all Microsoft services first and then click on disable all. Then click on apply, click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart computer and then launch the game. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and region is correct on your computer. So in the bottom right over here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically is on over here. Make sure set time automatically is also on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. Click on sync now. If you receive any kind of error while syncing, click on sync now once again. And then go to language and region and make sure your country, right country is selected over here. And then check. Now, if you are able to launch the game, change the region in the game. So if you are able to launch the game, launch the game first. So go to settings and then over here you can see region. So now if this is set to automatic, uh, you can try different region. You can try North America. You can try Europe. So the Asia region is actually full. So you can try North America or you can even go for Europe. So try changing the region and then check. Now the next step is to run this command. These commands are provided 
in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now copy all these commands one by one. All the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. So copy it one by one, paste it, hit the enter key. Now, once you run the last command, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game. Next step is to use Ethernet connection. So if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use Ethernet connection. So switch to wired connection and that will give you stable connectivity. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Over here you can see the game exe file. So you can make a right click and then select properties and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, click on OK. Make a double click over here and try launching the game. And check if you have any other uh, Check if you have any other uh, exe file. So there is no exe file. So here also you can find the exe file. Make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, then click on apply, click on OK, and then make a double click over here and try launching the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from the Steam, launch the game from the game installation folder. Still you're facing the problem. In that case, go back and let me close the game. Go back and then make a right click and then select properties. And then this time, put a check on disable full screen optimization, then click on apply, click on OK and then make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, make a right click once again, select properties and this time select, put a check over here and then select Windows 8, click on apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game. If that does not work, again make a right click, select properties, this time select Windows 7 and then click on apply, click on OK and then make a double click and launch the games. Now still you're facing the problem. If this EXE is not working, in that case you can open discovery folder binaries win64 and then make a right click on the exe file select properties do the same thing disable full screen optimization click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work again select properties and this time select put a check over here select windows 8 click on apply click on ok if that does not work select windows 7 then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now still you're unable to launch the game then in that case this time uncheck all the boxes if these are not working then uncheck all the boxes from here go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and uncheck all the boxes from here and then follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is important so open windows settings go to update in security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now over here, select your product type. Make sure that you select the right product type over here. Then select the right series. Make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now, if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10, and then click on Start Search. Now scroll down over here, you can see the latest GeForce Game Ready Driver is 545.92. This, this is the latest one right now. So click on Get Download, and then click on Download Now. Now, once the download is complete, 
run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will install the new version so let the installation complete and once the installation is complete restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here go to the game installation folder if the game installed in c drive open c drive if the game is installed in d drive or e drive go to the go to the different drive open program file 686 in case of c drive then open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder so open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on add in my case the game is already added so let me check the finals yeah i think the here you can see the game is already added once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save make sure that you select high performance over here now again click on browse and then this time open this discovery folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on add and once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save and then launch the game next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then open windows settings now click on privacy and security if you have windows 11 and then click on windows security now if you have windows 10 you will have an option update in security then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps select this start protected game click on open add it again click on browse all apps open the discovery folder binaries win64 select this exe file now click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select this exe file now click on open click on add in my case i have already added the game once you add it now again click on allow the app then click on browse and then select this exe file then click on open click on add again click on allow another app browse and then open the discovery binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now click on add in my case the game is already added now once you add the game so in my case the game is already added the finals so once the game is already added over here once the game is added click on ok on the bottom and then launch the game and then check next is to verify the game file now this is important so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification once this is done this will take some time once this is done now launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and download x64 and then run both x86 and x64 so run both the file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install
In my case, this is already installed. It's telling me to restart the computer. Run the second file as well. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. It's telling me to restart my computer. Please ignore this. In your case, this will inst install. In my case, this is already installed. Once installed, you will see a restart option like this. So make sure that you restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual mem memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size, it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So 1, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152 49152 49152 Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to Try window mode and lower down graphics settings. So if you are able to launch the game, uh, launch the game and then switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings. Now, once you launch the game, go to settings, click on settings over here and then go to video over here. And over here, you can switch to window mode. So if this is set to full screen, uh, you can switch to window full screen. You can even try this or you can select window mode. Now, if this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now, if the VSync is on, you can disable it and disable NVIDIA Reflex low latency. Turn it off. Now, turn off NVIDIA DLSS. In my case, I will turn it off. Let me check if there is option to turn it off. So if you are unable to turn it off, uh, you can select NVIDIA DLSS or if that is giving you a problem, then you can select uh, AMD FSR2. When you are selecting a NVIDIA DLSS, now over here you can select quality. So select quality over here. And same goes for AMD FSR2. If you are selecting AMD FSR2, over here select quality. Select quality. And then scroll down disable motion blur now 
over here you can see overall quality level now if this is set to like epic in that case uh, you can set it to high you can even go for medium or you can even go for low quality and then once done apply the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to update the system bios now for this go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have a lenovo computer go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp website so go to your system manufacturer website and then find the select your model number make sure that make sure that you select your computer and then find the latest bios update available and then update the system bios now in case of laptop before you update the system bios make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter the charger is connected to the computer and then update the system bios now during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall the game and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game now after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd you can try install the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel